Hey guys, what's up? It's Roby here with another Divi tutorial for you. Oh, maybe a little bit more of a first look. The folks at Elegant Themes were so nice to give me access to Divi AI and the new AI layouts feature, which was released in the last release of Divi, which I think is 4.25. And yeah, here we are all waiting for Divi 5 to go into the public alpha so that everybody can get hands on it. Trust the Divi engine is hard at work at updating all of our plugins to be fully compatible with Devi 5 when it does drop, hopefully later this year, maybe early next year, we'll see. But why don't we take a look at something fun, which is the layouts AI. Now, I have not really played with this at all. I just kind of watched the video that Nick had put out. So why don't you come with me as I take my first look and give you my impressions. Let's go. Okay, so here I am on the back end of my site and I have updated to the latest Divi version. And let me just quickly come over here and that's 4.25, right? So why don't we start nice and easy and I'll just go and add a brand new page here. And before I do get going with this, why don't we just quickly take a look and see what this is all about, right? So it's basically saying that you're going to be having to describe what you want the page to do. And then you can tell Divi a bit more about your website if you want to. And then it generates all these crazy layouts, which seems kind of unreal, but you know, let's give it a go. So here we are. So let's just say Divi layouts AI and just give us a page name. We're going to use the Divi Boulder, of course. And there we go. So first thing that you're going to see from what I judge here is that it's got the build with AI option added here with the build from scratch, which is of course very familiar as well as to choose a pre-made layout. So let's generate a layout. And here I am going to go ahead and put what type of page I wanted to create. So I'm just going to put in there. I want you to create a team page for Divi engine. And then I went ahead and copy and pasted this in here, which is just basically saying that we're a niche online brand form from Cape Town, South Africa, which is where I am currently. And we have four people on staff here and they are Roby, Peter, Jeff, and Ben. I can also ask it to specify your colors here. So, and body fonts and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, why don't we just try that and select a, a primary color. I'm going to go with this like red is fuchsia and then we'll select a secondary color, which I think the yellow. Yeah, why not? So let's go ahead and see what that does. It's going to be thinking very curious. Now it's not going super fast, but it might be because I'm on my local machine here. But of course, it's probably talking to the trained model that Elegant Themes made for this Divi Layouts AI. Maybe it might take a little bit, but it does give you nice detailed all the different steps. And wow, it even creates the imagery for you, which I think is rather cool. So let's see what it does. Okay, looks like it's done now. And let's see what we have. Meet the minds behind our unique collections. That's pretty interesting. Right from the heart of Cape Town. So it looks, it even generated images for us. I guess I am a girl. Interesting. What a twist. Uh, yeah, so it just has the contact page. And, you know, this is actually a really good boilerplate for your site. And you can see that it also utilized the colors. It's got the yellows there. It's got the red. Um, I, I probably would have liked to see the yellow used a little bit more throughout this layout that it generated, but you know, not a bad first stab at it. Right. So then, you know, I think you can just go ahead and let's see what it does when you go into the module view and it has them all rolled up and it actually gives you names for all the different sections, which I think is quite cool. That's actually very helpful, especially if you're doing something like handing off to a client. I know a lot of times we forget to, you know, give our the rows, sections, and modules these admin labels, which, you know, the more descriptive they are, the more uh, self-reliant our clients can be. So that is interesting. So that was one stab at it. Now, I'm pretty curious to see whether this will actually work in the theme builder. Also curious to see if it did the animations for it. So why don't we go check out and see what this looks like on the front end. And yeah, it doesn't get into crazy hover effects, it seems like, or anything like that. So no animation. So looks like that's the type of stuff you're still going to have to do yourself. But yeah, let's check out the, the theme builder. So let's go to Divi 
theme builder. And let's take a try at getting a global header build. We're using the, the VAI. Let's go to access it. Okay, so you hit that plus to go and get to the AI feature. So let's click that in here and say, okay, what type of page do I want to create? I want you to create, create a global header for my clothing brand site with links to the store theme page and let's say contact form. It should be minimal and clean. Now, what I also do see that here, it saved the information about the website, which is very interesting. So this will carry on through. So it looks like you only have to do this one time. I think that simplifies life a bit. And But it didn't use or save the colors. So I'm curious to see what it's going to do when I click on generate layout. And it'll do its writing text content, all that fun stuff, imagery. What has it done here? Okay, but it's got the phone number and all that fun stuff. It's actually created more items for the menu, but it's got the button there. So this is kind of an interesting result, right? It looks like it pulled in all the pages into the menu. And let's see, well, it is a menu module. So that is good that it understood that context. But I'm definitely curious to see what it does when we give it a little bit more to work with. So let's check that out. But you know, the one thing that I will say is that it did use the color scheme, right? So that is not too bad. Menu was maybe also a bit of a challenging thing to give it. So let, let's try something else. I'm not going to save this header because it's awful. I'll delete that. Let's see if we can make a single post template for our blogs, you know, all our blog posts. So we'll go to posts and we will say, well, all posts. And then we will create a template and then we're going to add custom body. So build custom body. And what it should do now is what it did before. So we'll expand this. We'll hit that plus and then we'll say build with AI. And then I'll tell it create a single post layout for the blog of our store. It should have an image and a call to action on the bottom of the page. Let's see. Give it a little bit more stuff to work with here, a little more direction. So let's see. Definitely curious to see if it understands the context of using the theme builder and you know the purpose of building these repetitive layouts that we use in our site, you know, like templates. So let's see what it does here. Now I find it interesting that it's writing text content because what it should be doing is pulling the content from our single posts, right? So let's definitely making a bunch of images. I'm not certain what it's gonna do. So let's let's just see. Let's not jump the gun here. Okay. This seems like it created a blog post, which is interesting. But anyway, let let's see what it has done here. So yeah, ideally what we'd want here is not for it to be a heading, but actually pull the blog post out. So it looks like it didn't, it wasn't able to make that template. Interesting. It does have the call to action. However, the colors look great, you know, for what it is, but it didn't use our template colors that we selected earlier. So that I find to be quite interesting. Also, let's give it one more try here and make it simpler. Create a template for my single blog posts, you should use the appropriate modules to dynamically show the content. I'm not sure how instructive you can be with it yet. So this is obviously going to take a long time. So we're going to fast forward through this and we will come back when this is generated. Okay. And there we go. Finally, we're back in business. Okay. So this is definitely looking again, Roby Smith. That's funny um, that I just kind of generated, but it looks like it did pull in a post here. So actually, I'm very curious to see what that is going to look like. So we're going to do that and then we'll close this out. We'll save the changes because this is the first time we added that layout. So let's go to a post here. And well, all I have is hello world. I thought I had some other ones in there, but that's fine. So it's got this hard coded. You know, if you want to call it that, uh, but in here and yeah, so it really doesn't perform well when it comes to creating a template, you know, it's the early days. They will probably introduce that down the road. I would imagine in my work, 
chats with them, you know, they've they've definitely expressed this is just a start. They're going to be building out huge AI features for this specific service. I think it's actually quite good to recap kind of, you know, maybe this is only supposed to be used on pages at the moment or posts instead of, you know, what I just did is really pushing it by trying to get these templates out there. But it's really good for boilerplate. So if you've got an idea of what you're going to be building, but you, you know, you're lacking a little bit of design inspiration or whatever the case might be, this might be the thing for you. Maybe this is not yet ready for a very dynamic website, but for any type of static site for a business or something like that, I think this would do amazing. Like I really think it was great how it generated images and stuff like that for the team page. And I could probably feed it some more information, you know, in that optional box that I'd had there when generating the layout. But it's a good start, I feel. You know, it definitely helps us get, the, you know, hit that ground running. I find myself often with the tutorials and stuff that I do, we had a bit of a design block. I know what I, what I want to build out. I know what I'm going to be building. But, you know, I'm not a designer. You'll, if you've seen any of the videos, you'll always hear me say that I'm not a designer. I could definitely build the stuff. I just can't come up with the designs for it. It's just where my knowledge ends. But yeah. Okay, so now that we've looked at Divi AI, I want to quickly take you here um, so you can see what it costs. Like if you're brand new to Divi, you need Divi and Divi AI, it's going to cost you $228 per year. And then if you already have Divi, it's about $16 per month. I think if you go monthly, it's a little bit more expensive, like $21. But that includes unlimited layout generation, text generation, code generation, image generation, right in the Divi interface. So Definitely click the link in the description if you're interested in that. It's our affiliate link, just to be fully transparent, but that gives you straight access to this stuff. And Divi is, of course, our favorite tool to build websites with, so get it today. And that's going to be it from me, Roby, with the Divi Engine team. I hope that you guys like and subscribe the video. And as we wait for Divi 5 Alpha to roll out to the public, we are going to keep on trucking. All right, guys, Roby with Divi Engine. I'm catching you in the next one. Bye for now.